Hello, Jim Distortion here, doing a daily short uh, from my bedroom. Um, because it's Sunday and why not? Uh, I've just been to the dump, uh, or the recycling centre, or the reuse centre, I believe it's called. And um, because I own a little van, I have to have what was first a green and then a pink slip to allow me to take household waste to that place. And I had no problem doing that because one of my pet peeves is, you know, people dumping stuff around the place. Um, fly tipping, I believe the phrase is. And um, I wanted to avoid never having to do that. So I got the, uh, the green paper. Then uh, before I'd finished using that, I arrived at the dump and they said to me, uh, you can't use the uh, green paper anymore. You have to get a pink one. Uh, it's out of date. And I'm like, there's no time limit on this, mate. I've got it from you and you'll send it. He said, I don't care. You've just got to get the pink one. So instead of becoming uh, disenamored with the man and uh, entering into some kind of a fray, um, I got in my car rather grumpily after he did let me drop the stuff there that time. So that was all right. Uh, so I got my car, went away and then I phoned a number and I said, look, you know, I've got this thing. You're wasting my time. They said, this is just where it is. And I'm like, well, okay. So could you send me a new one? They said, just of course. I'm like, right, well, okay then. So I've had that new one exactly eight weeks. And now I go to the dump and they tell me you can't use the pink one. No. Because if you use the pink piece of paper, it's not the electronic version that we're using now. So basically, just to go to the dump in some kind of van with genuine household waste, because we're tidying up the spare room, uh, you can't drop the stuff if you've got a van unless you've got the right piece of paper. Now, it's not even the right piece of paper. Now, it's you have to go to a website, uh, swing off a trapeze, wear a clown's hat on your left foot, drop a tomato for a grey hole in a blanket and then uh, pray to whichever god you think relevant and they may send you something that will tell you you can use it. Wake up, District Council. Wake up, everyone. The reason everyone's fly-tipping is, is because human beings are fundamentally lazy creatures and they don't care about the environment, especially people who are going to be fly-tipping. The harder you make it to go to the dump to drop the waste off, yeah, the more people are going to find a country road and drop off their own stuff. Builders are obviously doing it because it's all building rubble, which is almost impossible to go anywhere unless you go into a landfill site where they're actually encouraging rubble through, then you have to pay a fortune. So wouldn't it just make sense, instead of having to pay Soco or whoever the hell they are, to drive around their little vans with their orange suits on, to go and pick up other people's rubbish and complain about how much that costs us, why not make it easier for the places that do take care of these things, make them you know, more approachable for the normal person and even the businesses, even if you have to pay to get a ticket, you know, to go in and drop your stuff from your building process. Surely that's a money-making scheme, isn't it? You know, or have you given away all of the tenders to people who have now sewn you up and telling the government or the council what to do? I find it hard to understand in this day and age where we have allowed our world to become so consumer driven that waste is so enormous and this problem hasn't even been looked at. Recycling is a great thing and reusing is a great thing. And as you know, I build reclaimed furniture and I'm in tune with that. But sometimes there are things you have to throw away and, you know, rubble and things can go in and fill old landfill sites. So there must be a way of doing it, and I don't know what that is. So I apologise for my lack of knowledge in the building trade, only because I'm not a fucking builder. Pardon my language. You know, it's one of those things where you understand, yeah, the limitations of the world owned or run by councils and, you know, policy. Policy is a word that everyone hides behind in local council and indeed politics in itself because it protects them from actually having to think about their actual situation and the places that they govern. So, for instance, Hertfordshire County Council will not be in the same kind of 
uh, use in... Oh, what am I saying? Right, so if you're in Hertfordshire County Council area, it's going to be a completely different setup from Surrey County Council or Somerset because they have different needs and different wants. But actually, more and more, what you're finding is it's the same pencil-pushing tick boxes that they're trying to push every different area into. And every different area has every different needs. This is why you have councillors and people you know, who know the reality of the local area. Have a think, yeah, about what you need to do to to make change, to find a way to stop fly tipping, to find a way to make it easier to dispose of waste. Now, I do understand the bigger picture as well before you start criticising me for that. I do understand that pollution is a, is a massive problem. I do understand that, you know, destroying these items is, you know, destroying the planet. But what isn't helping is people not having anywhere or even any idea how... To facilitate them dropping their waste off. Surely it would be better if it was contained rather than thrown around the countryside where it's hurting environments, animals and indeed kids and dogs running around. Look at the bigger picture, not just your little blinkered life. And, you know, I'm sure that, you know, Amé, I think it is, who do the dumps in Hertfordshire, have paid a nice little backhander to someone to get that job. And if they haven't, well, then sue me for slander. What I'll say to you is... Have a look at what could be done on a small R level, you know. Recycle what you can. Put Use your recycle bins, obviously. Put out what you can. Reuse what you can. Yeah, if you know somebody who makes things out of reclaimed materials, give them a call and say, do you want this? You know, if somebody can use something, that's great. You know, if... The people around you who are in power, as it were, have no facilities that you can use, then you need to find a way to sort it out yourself. Write to your MP, tell them what the problem is. That's what they are for. Write to your local councillors. You will probably be ignored, but if enough people write to their councillors telling them about the fly tipping problem, then eventually they'll have to do something. Oh, uh, Everyone will tell you, budget constraints, stop us doing this, stop us doing that, the government's cut our money. Yeah, they have. Well, get over it. This is your job to deal with it. It's not our problem. It's yours. That's why you get paid to deal with it. So deal with it. Right. I've gone off on a rant now for everything. Right. So uh, if you could do the... Do we... Do we... Yeah. The, and the... Yeah. To yesterday's. Yesterday's video. Yesterday was Sunday's video. Not many people saw that. So it's all new. Have a look. Right. I'll talk to you tomorrow.